Like so many before you, your existence was lost in a futile battle. It seems that is the way of this world. You were such a helpless fool, worthy of little more than pity. You coveted vast power. You gave your life for it. However, I still don't understand. What is this mysterious power you desired? Why did you choose to take flight to go in search of it? Perhaps avenging your death will reveal the answer to me. Mare, keeper of justful slumber. <laughs> Destructive Blade Sabrak is a terrifying foe indeed. I thought we were rid of him after our last battle in Misaki City. He was drawing strength from power of existence emanating from the city. When we cut his supply, it indeed weakened him, allowing us to defeat him. Or so we thought. His survival is a threat. Flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter escaped my grasp. She somehow broke free from captivity, reunited with her comrades, and warned them of our plans. Since they were expecting me, my well-thought-out plan resulted in little more than a scratch. As I've said before, nothing ever works out the way you planned. Mm -hmm.
We have arrived, my servants. This is the shrine that holds my body. It appears everything's already been set in motion. Because the general's in a hurry, though I don't know why. Huh. You haven't forgotten about the war that's raging outside, have you? I'd like to wrap this up so I can join my men in battle. But you've got to be kidding! I don't understand why anyone would trust such a titillating experience. I mean, just look at the magnificent surrounding us. Oh, it's amazing! Ah. Now we won't have to waste any more of our time talking. Hmm. Sabrak's speeches are unexpectedly verbose for someone so sparse with his words. You underestimate me, Age Tuner. But I guess that's to be expected, seeing as we've never faced one another on the battlefield. I look forward to witnessing the power of your ceremonial equipment firsthand. Jesus, I seriously have a hard time keeping up with you old-timers! Way to blow my confidence! Don't worry, you'll get a chance to redeem yourself. I realize this may not be the best time to bring this up, but my ceremonial equipment seems to be useless here. Well, we don't need it! Wait, yeah, we do! How can you be sure? Request demonstration. Considering it took all my strength just to break off that small piece of rock and propel it towards Sabrak, I doubt I'd have enough power to construct the ceremonial equipment. Hmm. The destructive blade must have diffused his power through this area to weaken our attacks. So beating this guy ain't gonna be easy, huh? Your wound concerns me, Specialist. It's worsening because of his unrestricted spell stigma. What? But I thought that's why we were using the bandages, to keep this from happening. Indeed, but it seems Sabrak has altered stigma since I last faced him, thereby rendering the spell placed on these bandages obsolete. I am currently analyzing my catalog of unrestricted spells to determine whether any will have an effect. Thankfully, the bandages have indeed kept the wound from spreading. However, we must be cautious not to incur any further injuries. Avoid at all costs. I get what you're saying, but it's not like we can just keep dodging the monster's attacks. We've got to fight back, too. She's right. The question is whether we can carry out our original plan without using the ceremonial equipment. Hmm. We should deploy Kadesh's blood seal regardless. He found us! Spread out! A dream. As I walked the path, I often wondered whether everything before me would disappear should I wake. I would ask myself if this was reality or nothing more than an ephemeral illusion dreamt over my millennia of slumber. But now, as I stand before this shrine, I have no doubt that this is reality. I promised I would return, and you waited patiently for me. Now, your wait's over. Please awaken my body from its slumber. Yes, sir. Return the insignia to me. Commander. I never expected the enemy's reinforcements to get here so quickly, ma'am. There is no need for you to apologize, Francois. You are not at fault. Not even a seasoned general could have predicted this outcome. That's true. We had no way of knowing their Western forces would get here so soon. 
Unfortunately, war never goes as one might expect. In the hopes of avoiding such an attack, I ordered our pursuit forces to keep the enemy at bay. However, it seems they were unable to do so despite their best efforts. I thought the deployment of Saleh and Kiara alone would be enough to stop them. But apparently Bal Maske's Denizen army has a few tricks up its sleeve. All we have left are the troops sent to delay their forces to the east and their hold up on Mount Tanagawa. If the enemy breaks through those lines, I'm afraid we'll have nowhere to run. What are our chances of victory if we're already worrying about our escape route? We cannot give up. Damn it! What now? We can't afford to be stuck in this blizzard while the war rages on! We would have no problem breaking through their lines if we weren't dealing with that madman Mikolojus. I bet that's exactly why they're stationed in here. If only this blizzard would let up a little, I could probably take him out with my diamond spell. I remember the strategist mentioning something about creating a natural disaster. She said we should be cautious but hopeful. If it happened now, it might be enough to distract them. I am the Supreme Throne Hecate, a loyal servant of our master. With my great staff Trigon, I will break the bonds that have held him captive for so long. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken! I commend you, my loyal servants, the Trinity, my pride and joy. God of creation, my comrade and fellow deity, now that you have been reunited with your body, I shall return to the hands of my contractor, Shana, the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter. Yuji Sakai, I sincerely hope this isn't our last meeting. I can assure you, that isn't the case, Alastor. We will meet again. It won't be long until our separate paths become one. Now join Shauna at the Palace of the Stars. We've accomplished our goal. Our work here is done. Let us return to the palace! Alistor, you're back! This is where I'm meant to be. You've made it farther than I thought you would. <laughs> Are you ready? You know it. As usual, nothing ever works out the way I planned. Perhaps it's a sign. It's time to switch strategies. <laughs> Spirit makes me think you'd be a worthy opponent, but your brutish technique leads me to believe otherwise. I'll show you, brutish! How do you still have such power? That's enough out of you. Activating. Deploying Kadesh's Blood Seed. There we go. I may not be able to pull off anything as crazy as the Chanter of Elegies, but this should hold it. Mm. Though our powers are weakened, it should hold as long as we isolate the inside of the circle. One explosion! Coming at ya! I cannot believe you honestly think you can defeat me using the same tactic you've already employed. <laughs> it is said that loss causes such unpleasant fruit to later ripen. Gee, shut up already! Wait, Rebecca, take a look around! 
What the hell is he doing? Now that you have separated my physical body from the power I have spread across the area, I am no longer able to maintain control. That power is now dispersing, destroying the land. If you continue to hold me here, the path of pilgrimage will disintegrate. Uh, you gotta hurry and call off your unrestricted spell, old man! Even if we sacrificed ourselves to make sure the path's destroyed, there's no guarantee the snake of the festival would end up getting stuck here! It's a shame I had to foil your plan. I must commend you on your effort. I guess you'll have to come up with a new one. I wonder who's going to die in the meantime. You, buddy! I don't think so. Now, Philomena! I've had enough of you! Pull him up, Malar! Where did he come from? No way. How did he do that? The Three-Eyed Woman was kind enough to provide me with a Rene for this very occasion. Her predictions are usually unpleasantly accurate. Only one of you remains. to work. She is my invited guest. Yuji Sakai, we meet again. I'll fight the body containing the snake of the festival while you hold back the others. In play! I'll stop her. Thank you, General. But let me handle this. Shauna, I don't understand why you're doing this. Why are you so intent to fight me? I've told you I want to live my life with you, and I have vowed to always protect you. You know that I would never lie to you about such things. Nonetheless, you're so strongly tied to your duty as a flame haze, you would dare to stand in my way? Of course. The Grand Order you're trying to bring about is not going to benefit anyone but the Crimson Denizens and the power-hungry god they serve. If it is successfully achieved, the god of creation will be granted the ability to manipulate the world however he sees fit, forever changing it. Can't you see that if you allow him to materialize, he'll pose a threat to the world as we know it? You're not going to convince me he should be destroyed. <laughs> I was a mess when you left Misaki City until a friend reached out to me. She warned me to stop fooling myself. She said time had come to unite me with myself. At first I thought I knew what she meant. Shauna and the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter had somehow become two different entities. But when I thought about it, I realized I was wrong. And when I spoke to someone else about it, they clarified it for me. They said there are not two of you, there is only one. At the time, I didn't understand what they were trying to say. And ever since I met you, Yuji, I've subconsciously pretended not to understand. I didn't want to fight you. And for some reason, I couldn't accept that fact. My denial caused there to be a rift in my personality between the me who had to fight and the me who didn't want to. I was afraid that I would be forced to choose between them someday. But now... I've overcome that fear because I found the strongest unrestricted spell. You see, I'm no longer afraid to fight because I've gained an amazing power. It's because I met you that I have the strength to settle this once and for all. Are you sure about that, Shauna? Ah! There's something you need to know. I love you, Yuji. 
The love I feel for you is the strongest unrestricted spell. To learn this while wielding a deadly blade, it must have been a lesson from the man who raised you. I challenge you, and with the strongest unrestricted spell on my side, I will defeat you. Is that so? It is, and although I have the power to kill you, my only goal is to conquer you, because then you will be forced to do as I say. If the Snake of the Festival possesses you, I swear I'll take him down too. I've never seen her like this. Once I've defeated you both, I will be the one to determine what should be done with the God of Creation's power. I'll find a purpose that's sure to satisfy the others. I will, and not just because it's part of my sworn duty as a flame haze, but because I'm Shauna, the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter! Let's see you try! You are mistaken if you think you can tie up these loose ends so easily. You dare mock the desire I've held for millennia with your childish fantasy? I can assure you that this is no childish fantasy. This is the path I have chosen that we will walk together someday, Yuji Sakai. I will strive to make it a reality. Until the day we're finally able to share the strongest unrestricted spell just like everyone else! It looks as though you found yourself in the same situation as me! Perhaps I should refresh your memory. You once said that as long as you were able to keep me restricted, it meant that you had effectively put a leash on the God of Atonement as well. So what? I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. If you try to do away with Yuji, and you become the god of creation alone. I'll use the Tenpai Josai against you! Normally, I would be forced to destroy you for disrupting the world's balance, as that is my duty as a flame haze. However, I've allowed you to live because I know that Yuji is in there somewhere, and I want him to walk the path with me! We can make it whatever we want, even a childish fantasy. No. We've got trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you is laughing? Does it matter? In this situation, one can't help but laugh. I'll admit you never cease to amaze me. Just when I thought I knew exactly what to expect from you, you suddenly appear before me and present this taunting, boastful side of yourself. I'm not boasting, I'm being honest. We will walk my path together. However, there is one thing that concerns me. I want to know what you're hoping to accomplish by bringing about the Grand Order. Sorry, I can't say. I understand your curiosity, but I'm not ready to reveal that yet. I promise the answer will come to you in time. However, if you insist on badgering me about it... The only way you will find out is if you can conquer me as you said you would! Very well then! I'll do just that! Sabrak and Vilamina, Thompson and Rebecca, Sean and Yuji. Emotions clash on the battlefield as the snake of the festival leaves the path of pilgrimage. Next time on Shakugan no Shauna Final, from Rift to Rift.